Hey, <laughs> look, thanks for joining us today. Stormy day in St. Louis, Missouri, but we're gonna push on nonetheless and provide you what I think is pretty good content. Look, it's free. You don't need to do a lot. Just sit back and relax. We don't throw ads in here like YouTube ads, but we do have sponsors and they help us dedicate time and help us provide this content. And today's sponsor is the Ice Cream Club. Rich Draper, Heather Draper, the king and queen of the Ice Cream Club. Uh, they're based in Boynton Beach, Florida, but they ship all over that region. They make ice cream. Uh, you can either put it in your store and uh, sell it as your own. You can use their brand. Have a look at their website. They've got a really good website where they can look at retail on one side or commercial on the other. It's pretty good. The link is down below. And thank you, Rich and Heather, for your episode sponsorship. Now, it's apt that the Ice Cream Club actually sponsored this video because they are an ice cream manufacturer. Everybody knows it. They sell frozen product. But you may find when you're starting to look at the differences between who you report to, so far as local county health department, the agricultural department, state ag department, they may ask you, are you a manufacturer of ice cream? And we get this question a lot, well, am I a manufacturer of ice cream? Now, most people think, well, if I've got a batch freezer and I'm taking a mix and then putting my product in there and I'm rippling it and then I'm taking it out and blast freezing it, then I'm running it over to my storage freezer, you'd probably say, well, yes, I'm a manufacturer. However, people who are in the soft serve business or the frozen custard business that are basically just taking mix and pouring in the top, are they a manufacturer? Well, in some states, you actually are a manufacturer because you're taking a base product, adding a refrigeration to it, adding other flavor to it to create another product. So I'm basically taking my bag of, let's say, frozen custard mix, I'm putting some vanilla in there, I'm putting some mint extract in there, and as that's being frozen through a commercial machine, I'm adding uh, chopped up Oreos and hard shell, and so now you are a manufacturer. So again, you might think, um, if you're in the soft serve business or the custard business, that, well, no, I'm not really manufacturing anything, I'm just running this through my ice cream machine. In some states, that actually may be manufacturing. You really need to know that because it can affect your taxability, it could affect the way that you are regulated, it could affect the way that you need to lay out your space. So most places, I'm gonna put it out there, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna throw it out there. Most places that are taking a base product, adding product and putting it through a process to change the product, you're more than likely going to be a manufacturer. But I would check with your health department or your state agricultural department to see what the classification is because there may be, again, tax implications, there may be layout room implications that you might have to modify in order to make your space legal. Uh, so ask the question, but more than likely you are. As a general rule, I would say, you're a, you're a manufacturer. You're a manufacturer. You're a manufacturer. You're a manufacturer. Anyway, that's enough. I'm sure Rich and Heather Draper are sitting there thinking, why do we spend our money on these videos? Because they're awesome, that's why. Check down below for those links. Leave a comment down below. Click subscribe. And just as a quick kind of uh, tour of the back end of here, this takes you to our subscribe button. This is a pretty awesome video. And over here, we'll take you straight to scoopschool.com. Keep on scooping. See you in the next video. Shing!